and I've said this before, but it, we lived in a very socialist, state-controlled economy where you didn't, your salary was all you had. We were a very saving, survival-driven society. So you hit the ball in the air, that's another way of getting out, not a way of clearing the field. So batting for us was not getting out, yes. not scoring runs, not mm. getting out. Mm. And so you had test matches scored, played at 1.8 runs and over. The new generation says, yeah, I'll get out. But if I don't get out, I'll win. Mm -hmm. When we were at school, we were always, we, not us, but so many around us, were put in coaching classes for subjects we were weak in. Today's parents are putting kids into classes where they, the children are good at. Mm. So the Rishabh Pants of this world will say, if I go over the fielder and I get it, I've got a four. My generation would say, but if I don't go over, I'll get caught. So that's, that's the difference. They see what mm. is possible. Mm. We were scared of what might happen. Mm. My father's generation, look, my father was 20 when, Eng when the English left India. The English didn't just take away our wealth. They also took away our self-confidence. And so for my father's generation, survival was important. Mm. So if he got a job and he, he couldn't take a job that was uh, better in the long term, but was paying less at the moment, because as the eldest son getting in, as soon as he started earning money, the family started to see slightly better days. So you got a job and you held on to it for life. My generation saw a little bit of progress because my, when my mother started to work, we started getting two salaries at home, but you didn't have six pairs of trousers. You were okay, but you had two or three and you, made, you, you did okay with those. We saw the huge change, my generation. I started off on a salary from India's number one business school of 1,900 rupees a month. And even out of I am Ahmedabad, you had to worry, where can I stay in Mumbai? So in the last 30 years, we've seen the growth. The new generation is coming and saying, so what? And they're a little more brazen. They're a little more aggressive. And so I think the world is starting to come to terms with the fact that this is a different India. So some of them are, some of them are in denial. 